So you've just heard from Carlo and Michelle, you know, um, consumers who pay a premium for our product. You know, none of us in this audience may see some of these supermarkets in the next four or five years, but consumers globally are starting to see them. They're buying product differently. They're wanting to know about our supply chains. And one of the questions uh, that I often get asked about producers is, what is MLA doing about trying to, um, trying to link consumers in cities back to the farm? They used to come and visit 20 years ago. We don't see them anymore. They don't know anything about what we do. So if you look at that supermarket of the future, that gives you one point to start to interact with those consumers. Um, uh, and then you've seen some of the, the information that Michelle has provided, saying the consumers actually want to know some of that data that you are collecting on your product. So it looks like we might be having some technical details, that difficulties, that's okay. I'll just... Yeah, this is the one before that, please. Um, so in the supermarket of the future outside, you'll see a meat cabinet and you'll see a red wine cabinet. And I need to acknowledge Treasury Estate Wines for, or Treasury Wine Estates for providing um, all of our samples and all of our gifts to our presenters today. Uh, these guys um, have come up with some interactive packaging for those that haven't seen it. Uh, and let's play that video now if it works. Think that we have been nearly nine years in this living tomb since our first arrest, and that it is impossible for mind or body to withstand the continual strain that is upon them. One or the other must give way. Some may call me traitor, others hero, but I, I call myself Michael Harrington, Fenian brother, and part of the Fremantle Six. I was banished to Australia for crimes against the Crown. They believed my story was over, but it was merely the beginning. For the sake of my children, I begged for mercy, but the judge showed me none. I was sentenced to seven years, transported for stealing bacon, banished from my home. So for me, it's not too much of a stretch to think if we can engage our international consumers differently with the supermarket of the future, sell our story, have the, have the image of the producer come up, how good that product is, it talks about the recipes you could use that red meat for, and then imagine them taking that red meat home with some sort of packaging technology like this that could actually tell the story of the producer or where that meat came from, could actually tell about our environmental credentials. Uh, and we're currently talking to uh, the developers of this technology with Treasury State to say, is there a really good proposition and how do we develop that for our industry and those labels? I encourage you all not to go out and steal the bottles we've got out there because we want them, um, but to go out, download the app uh, and have a go at this yourself uh, outside.